Hey guys, Andy here. So I've had my Mavic Pro for, I don't know, around a week. Um, been using it with my phone clipped to the bottom of the controller. And I thought, well, hang on a second, I've got a work iPad. Why not just use that nice big screen? Um, but obviously you need to have a particular mount that enables you to use it with the remote. So I ordered this one off uh, Amazon. On Amazon it calls it a Hensink tablet iPad mount. The box says Sun Life, Sunny Life, sorry. Um, it also says, uh, well, it says for tablets, 13 to 18 centimeters width, um, and for smartphones above five and a half inches. So I thought that should suit uh, should suit my needs. Spongy box there. And these are the bits that we get, the actual mount, the slight rubberized bits inside where the, the iPad is gonna help be held. Um, it is, it's a little bit of a cheap uh, spring, it feels. You know, one of those are slightly clicky, but seem to be strong enough. We've got a little sort of bracket that fits in like so. There's no instructions in the box, so I'd have to look on Amazon just to check the pictures to see how it's supposed to look. Um, use the Allen key to attach to the actual mount bit that holds the iPad. Tighten that nice and good. And then that just sits onto the other sort of the plate that's going to be gripped by the controller. And we have the tiny Phillips head and the small screw that are going there. Job done. So time to try fit it to the actual remote. Which is easy enough, obviously it's just sort of a phone size plate that it starts from. That seemed to be okay, so let's put the iPad itself in. Again, it seemed to be right. There's a bit of wobble to it. It's not super rock steady, but then that's quite a heavy iPad that's sitting on top of it, so I suppose that's to be expected. Uh, there's plenty enough room for your thumbs on the thumbsticks behind the iPad, as you can see there's plenty of space. Clearly it obscures the actual remote's screen, but it's not that hard I did find just to sort of tip it forward, backward, tip it so I could see the actual remote screen. So I thought to give, uh, I guess some footage just quickly out in the back, the back garden while I can have my tripod and uh, DSLR. And it seemed fine, it seemed good. The screen turned the brightness right the way up. As I say, there is a there's a bit of wobble that you can tell if you give it a shake, like I'm about to do. But as long as you don't shake it about, it's, you're not really gonna notice. I didn't, you know, I wasn't struggling to use it because it was moving around. So I figured, okay, well, I've done a, a little small task. I'm not really supposed to fly it here. It didn't go higher than a couple of meters. Um, I thought, let's head off down the park and give it a proper go. So only a sort of a few minutes walk up my road. It's quite a nice bit of uh, open area. Well, I say open, it's obviously lots of trees and things, but I think I've got my 150 meters gap to the builds per area quite easily. I do love the footage that the drones, uh, the drones give you. Um, so what to say about the use? I mean, not much really. One thing I did realize, so you use sort of a, or I used a regular USB to iPad cable. You plug it in the bottom of the remote. I, I don't know if it's coincidental, but it wouldn't connect until I'd unplugged the other cable, even though the other cable wasn't going anywhere, I had to unplug that, I think, for it to recognise. There's me. You might see me give it a quick wave in a second. I had to unplug that to get it to actually recognise the iPad. But uh, once it'd done that, good to go. Turn the brightness right the way up just to make sure you can see it. And it was a lot better, a lot easier to fly looking at the screen rather than kind of trying to work out where you are in the sky looking at the drone. So there you go, it's uh, 15 99 on Amazon. The only downside is it doesn't fold away, so I found myself just leaving it all put together and, I, and I've took my big rucksack with me. Um, there is a, a different one I saw on Amazon for about £25, £26 that folds away, which I'm tempted to try. But here you go, the High Hensink tablet iPad mount, 15 99 with Amazon Prime. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.